Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects 2022 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to get that shattered text or text shatter effect. Very, very common in all sorts of uh, movies, titles, you name it. It's everywhere. Let me show you an example here. I'm just going to hit spacebar and you're going to see that, boom, my name has exploded into pieces and I slow roll it here. You'll see that it's shattering and bang off the screen sort of. So here we do, I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. I'm going to delete this here. I'm going to go back to my project. I'm going to delete everything in my project. We're going to start from scratch. First step, new composition, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second if you're following along. All right, the next step here is I'm going to click on the horizontal type tool or the text tool, and I'm going to just type my name, Curtis. Yeah, man, let's go. Did I type it in? I wrote in Kurt. All right, let's go, Curtis. There we go. All right, let's see if I can type today. And now I'm going to go back to my selection tool, and I'm going to align it in the center and in the center. If you don't see the align uh, workspace, or pardon me, the align box, well, you just have to go here, and that's all there is to it. Box isn't the right word, but I don't care. That's how I talk today. All right, let's keep going. I'm going to move the playhead back to the beginning. And now we're going to go ahead and left click and make sure you left click on your text here. Now I'm going to right click and it allows me to select a bunch of different things and we're going to pre-compose this. And I'm going to name it Shatter because we are going to shatter my name just like I said we were. Okay guys, if you're rolling here, let's keep going. Let's go to Effect. And now you want to go drop down to Simulation and under Simulation you're going to see Shatter. Heck yeah, this looks funny though when you get your first look. We want to go to our effect controls panel now. And you'll see here I've clicked on it. And now under render, you're going to see uh, all. But what we actually want to do is we want to adjust the view first. So let's go to view. And instead of wireframe and forces, we want rendered. When we do that, well, we're back to what we started with. But here, it has already been applied. Let me just slowly move this forward and you're going to see Capresto, boom, this has been shattered already. So there is a very good chance that if you don't want to make this super fancy and don't want to customize it crazy, that we've already solved your problem and you can just click off this video and give it a thumbs up or something like that. If you want to look at it a little bit further in depth, I will show you a few quick things. You'll notice here that on the effect control panel under shape, we have the repetitions set to 30 and we've got the pattern set to bricks. I generally prefer glass as the pattern because that looks a little bit more of a natural shatter. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually I'm just going to go ahead and hit space bar and boom. Yeah, that looks a little better, but not quite right. I think I would like to have a few more bits and pieces in the shatter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the repetitions from 10. I'm going to jack it up to about 30. Let's see what, yeah, somewhere around 30. Sure. Now check this out. I'm going to go ahead and hit space bar again and it's going to explode and that is a little bit more natural to me and I know it's a little bit slow because it's running from RAM but if we if we just skip through the playhead here we move the playhead through the timeline this looks pretty good to me now I will let you guys know that just as a final bit and piece you can go ahead and make all sorts of other changes including things like depth if you want to increase and decrease the radius of the force you can change the gradient, you can change the gravity in this if you really want to get crazy. But in most cases, you generally don't need to do that. Extrusion depth is also another one that you might want to look at. I'm going to just jack this up to 0.6 just so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to hit spacebar. Boom. It's a little thicker. It's a bit more of a it's in your face of an explosion. All of these things are things you can adjust and, you know, tailor it to whatever you see fit. But that's how you shatter text in After Effects real quickly. Thanks for watching. A ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.